most processes that concern molecules involve chemical reactions. Let's take a look at what they actually are. There are essentially two kinds. In the first kind, smaller entities, atoms or molecules, are put together, built to give you something bigger. For example, if we take one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen in a molecule called CO2, or carbon dioxide, and if we take one molecule of oxygen and two of hydrogen in a molecule called H2O, or water, and if we take six of each, plants can build something much bigger out of it, called glucose. That's sugar. And I, for one, enjoy sugar very much. And I'm not the only one. It's needed to build almost all life. Well, this kind of chemical reaction, building things, is called anabolism. You take something small and you make something bigger. But things can also be taken apart. So another type of chemical reaction is breaking bigger molecules into smaller ones. And this type of chemical reaction is referred to as catabolism. Now, if these reactions take place not inside a test tube, but inside a living being, like this little green plant, in fact, we're talking about photosynthesis, making sugar out of sunlight and carbon dioxide. Well, here, your chemical reactions become biochemical. Photosynthesis is anabolic, and plants are mostly anabolic. They grow. Biochemical reactions can also run the other way, releasing energy. Animals are mostly catabolic. They move. Anabolism and catabolism together are referred to as metabolism. And in a living system, all of these processes are, of course, controlled. So there is a third type of very important chemical reactions, which are regulatory. And these three types of chemical reactions together is what makes life possible on this planet. In fact, this is what biochemistry is all about. <laughs>